Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. Today, we're diving into an exciting topic that's been making waves in the tech and investment communities, quantum computing and, more specifically, QNTM stock. Is this the future of tech or just another bubble? Let's find out. Before we get into the stock analysis, let's take a quick look at what quantum computing actually is. Unlike classical computers, which use bits as the smallest unit of data, either a zero or one, quantum computers use qubits. Qubits can represent both zero and one simultaneously, thanks to a property called superposition. This allows quantum computers to solve complex problems at speeds unattainable by classical computers. Quantum computing has the potential to revolutionize industries like cryptography, drug discovery, artificial intelligence, and more. It's no wonder that tech giants like Google, IBM, and Microsoft are heavily investing in this technology. But how does QNTM fit into this landscape? Now, let's talk about QNTM. QNTM is a company that's been gaining attention for its work in quantum computing. They are developing quantum hardware and software solutions aimed at solving some of the world's most complex computational challenges. The company is still in its early stages, but it has already made some significant strides in the field. One of QNTM's most notable achievements is its partnership with several leading research institutions and tech companies. This collaboration is crucial for developing and testing their quantum technologies, giving them an edge over competitors. All right. Now let's get into the financials. QNTM is still a relatively young company, and like many tech startups, it's not yet profitable. The company is heavily investing in R&D, which is both a positive and a negative. On the one hand, this investment could lead to groundbreaking technologies and significant future revenue. On the other hand, it also means the company is burning through cash quickly. If we look at the stock's performance over the past year, QNTM has been quite volatile. This is typical for companies in emerging technologies like quantum computing. The stock has seen some significant spikes, often tied to news about advancements in their research or new partnerships. However, it's also experienced sharp declines, particularly when the broader tech market is under pressure. For investors, this means that QNTM is a high-risk, high-reward play. If the company can achieve its goals, the stock could skyrocket. But there's also the risk that quantum computing could take longer to commercialize than anticipated, leading to continued volatility. Let's discuss the market potential. Quantum computing is expected to be a multi-billion dollar industry in the coming decades. Some estimates suggest that the market could be worth over $65 billion by 2030. If QNTM can capture even a small portion of this market, the stock could see substantial growth. However, it's essential to keep in mind that the quantum computing industry is still in its infancy. There are many technical challenges to overcome, and it could be years before we see widespread commercial applications. Investors need to be patient and have a long-term view if they're considering adding QNTM to their portfolio. So, should you buy QNTM stock? The answer depends on your risk tolerance and investment horizon. If you're a long-term investor who believes in the potential of quantum computing, QNTM could be an exciting addition to your portfolio. However, if you're looking for short-term gains, you might want to be cautious due to the stock's volatility and the uncertainties surrounding the industry. As always, do your own research and consider speaking with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. That's all for today's video. If you found this analysis helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe for more stock analysis and investment tips. Let me know in the comments what you think about quantum computing and QNTM. Are you planning to invest? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. 9.